Hi my beautiful lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today's makeup look is gonna be this elegantly sparkling makeup look for special events like cocktail parties, official work events, date night or girls night out and I kept everything simple and comfortable makeup wise because I'm wearing this gorgeous sparkling dress and I want to complement this dress with simple makeup if not everything looks clumsy and messy if you know what i mean so if you would like to see how to get this makeup look done then please keep watching first things first i'm just gonna tie up this mop of my head and then jump straight on to my moisturizer and for that i'm grabbing charlotte tilbury magic cream and i'm applying this all over my face to not only moisturize but also to light up my face because this moisturizer is truly magical in doing that and then for primer I'm taking Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer and I'm applying that onto the main areas of my face and then gently spread that out onto the sides of my face as well. And this primer is super duper glowing and as soon as you apply, you will notice that glow immediately. And it just also makes your skin look even toned. And then I'm grabbing my Iconic London Prep Set Glow Hydrating Spray and I'm spraying that all over my face for extra kind of grip and also for the gorgeous glowy base and as an extra prepping step as well now i'm just gonna let all this goodness of skincare sink into my skin and also i'm not forgetting to moisturize my lips and i'm using my favorite pineapple haze cbd lip butter and this is kind of like my all-time favorite lip balms to heal my lips overnight and then i'm grabbing my sephora best skin ever concealer in the slightly deep shade to cancel out any pigmented areas on my face like my under eyes and around my mouth and then just blend out with this beautiful marshmallow beauty blender from coco cosmetics and then grabbing the lightest shade concealer and this is in the shade custard from nars and i'm getting that onto my under eyes just like that and also bridge of my nose center of my forehead cupid's bow chin areas and whatever extra concealer left on the wand, I'm just going to sweep that under where my contour would be. And then, as always, I blended everything out seamlessly. And also remember to push the sponge but not sweep it. And then for eyes, I'm first taking Too Faced Melted Chocolate Matte Eyeshadow in the shade Warm and Fudgy. And I'm applying that all over my eyelids as a eyeshadow base. And I'm just spreading that out with my beauty sponge. Now taking the middle highlighter shade from Urban Decay Threesome Face Palette. And I'm getting that onto my brow bone and also in the tear duct area as a subtle yet gorgeous eyebrow and inner corner highlight. And then taking this gorgeous loose pigment from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Sand. And I'm packing that loose pigment all over my eyelids. And this matches my dress color beautifully. And then I'm grabbing Jet Black Eyeliner from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I just took a swipe of that color on back of my hand. And then grabbed a pointy eyeshadow brush. And I'm slowly and patiently building up a smoky winged eyeliner at the outer corner of my eyes kind of like an invisible winged eyeliner now grabbing this contour shade from urban decay threesome palette and i'm getting that onto my crease as a transition color and also to deepen and add a bit of a gradient to the whole look and i'm making sure i don't mess up the smoky winged eyeliner we have previously created and then taking the same jet black eyeliner i'm running this super thickly along my upper lash lines and i'm not creating a wing here i'm just gonna leave that smoky wing smoky because i want this look to be as simple as possible and as you can see here i'm basically running this along my lower lash lines as well for that balanced and neat look and then going with the same contour shade and i'm using that color to diffuse the lower lash lines and make it nice and soft smoky without actually make that look like blob of black and then i just added few waves to my hair and then grabbed the mixture of smoky storm from 
Stila and Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay and just applied that together all over my eyelids. I am stopping where my smoky winged eyeliner kind of starts stretching and then I waited for it to dry and then took the same Anastasia Beverly Hills jet black eyeliner and I'm running this along my lower lash lines, sorry, lower water lines and also upper water lines. And this makes your eyes look super pretty and round. And then with the same contour shade, I'm diffusing the lower lash lines one last time before grabbing the mixture of NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation in the shade Light and Cover FX Custom Enhancing Drops in the shade Celestial. And then I bounced that concoction all over my face with Marshmallow Beauty Sponge and covering up only where I need not just all over because we have already did the concealer part and all you need is a little bit of coverage from foundation that's it and then taking beauty bakery flower loose setting powder in the shade oat and I'm setting up the concealed and highlighted areas like in the center part of my face for that extra brightness and shineless t-zone area and whatever left on the pan like on the lid part i just bounce that onto my cheek area to kind of control shine in those areas as well and beauty blenders does wonders in applying the loose powders on to my face it just it just crazy it just works wonderful and then grabbing the contour shade and i'm applying this onto the areas where i would generally like to contour and add up some shape and as you can see i'm sweeping the brush in the upward angle to kind of lift my cheekbones and look youthful and i always follow the natural shadows on my face to avoid looking too artificially made up kind of appearance and i definitely don't want that in these kind of occasions where i take so many flash photographs and then I'm quickly contouring my nose and lips and also going over the areas with my beauty sponge to blend out the edges and look super super natural. And then for blush, I'm taking this deep terracotta pink blush from the same Urban Decay Threesome Face Palette. And I'm applying that onto the apples of my cheeks and just gently sweep that upwards towards my temple. And this makes your face look fresh and lifted. And also I always work with less color onto my brush to avoid too much blush. And then I'm setting my entire face with Urban Decay All Nighter Pollution Protection Spray to make sure everything stays in its place and nothing moves the entire event. I basically use the spray at the end of the makeup look to bring back that lost moisture onto my skin and also to melt away the extra powderiness. And then for highlighter, I'm taking Becca Cosmetics highlighter in the shade champagne pop and i'm applying that onto the high points of my cheeks tip and top part of my nose my eyebrow bone for that extra pop of highlight my good old cupid's bow and also in the center of my chin and forehead area to attract the light and create the perception of depth and angles and then for mascara i'm taking the mixture of buxom and elizabeth mott mascaras so first I'm going with the buxom one and I'm making sure that the mascara coats each and every strand of my lashes. And then I went with the Elizabeth Mott mascara to double up the look of lashes and make them look super voluminous and spread out. And before I forget, I'm going to apply some onto my bottom lashes as well. And then for my brows, I'm simply applying the deep brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Ebony. Because this basically adds up the color while combing and keeping them in place. So all I do is brush them in the direction of the hair growth, slightly lifting them upwards with very light handed because my brows are already super thick naturally. So taking advantage of that, I'm simply adding up color while brushing and setting them. And then for lips, I'm taking Dominique Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Crush, which is a beautiful nude lip liner. And I'm not only lining my lips, but also filling them in. And also this is my closest lip color shade. And then for actual lip color, I'm taking this super gorgeous lip topper from Zouwe in the shade Skinny Dip. And I'm applying this directly onto the center of my lips and then gently swipe that across my lips. And this you guys is the makeup look complete. Thank you so so much everyone for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this super sparkly, super elegant cocktail party special event makeup look. 
प्लीज मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब एंड टर्न ऑन द नोटिफिकेशन बेल टू बी नोटिफाइड एवरी टाइम आई पोस्ट ए न्यू वीडियो एंड द बटन इज जस्ट राइट हियर ऑन द स्क्रीन एंड ऑल्सो लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू डू एंड आई सी यू गैस वेरी सून इन माई नेक्स्ट वन बाय